also did a search on Twitter for a few hours to find a videographers in London. And what was interesting, I people were calling themselves videographers, but it wasn't very easy to find some of their um, show reels online. And um, but the, the some of the show reels that I saw probably because they're more for corporate were quite boring, I thought, in terms of editing style. Hi everybody, it's Larry Anderson here. This is the first in a series of my vlogs which I hope to do daily, and uh, this is number one. I think I'll call it Larry 24-7. So yesterday, um, I dropped my daughter at college, and um, then I bought a new USB microphone, um, which I've got here, an ADX microphone, um, Ultimate, Ultimate Gaming, um, just so that I could have another microphone, desktop microphone for my uh, interview. Uh, so I interviewed, yesterday interviewed uh, a very old friend of mine, Steve Procopio, um, who was um, with me in the halls of residence in 1985 in Leicester, Coppice Hall, I think it was. And um, so that was a good interview for my digital culture change podcast. Um, and then I worked on a content plan for Twitter, um, both for um, digital culture change and also for Embrace Change projects. Um, and then I um, was listening to uh, BBC Sounds, listening to some Benji B and uh, Giles Peterson. And then um, later on in the afternoon, I um, was listening to a live stream on YouTube from the British Library um, where um, I listened to Pip Jameson. So Pip Jameson is the um, uh, chief exec and founder of um, a, uh, an agency for creatives called The Dots and she's also dyslexic and The Dots is really about championing the freelancers in the creative sectors and also that um, championing um, diversity within the creative industry uh, which is right up the street of Right Brain Stories. Um, and then actually I also listened to, I watched a, uh, on Catch Up, uh, the Panorama documentary, which is about um, uh, social media and influencers, um, which was a very one-sided um, polemic really from the BBC, which I'll talk about a bit more uh, when I review it. Um, then I also searched for um, a transcribers on People Per Hour, so I think I've got some good responses for that. So people to transcribe my videos and also my um, uh, my podcasts for um, recycling them as blog content. Um, I also did a search on Twitter for a few hours to find a videographers in London. And what was interesting, I people were calling themselves videographers, but it wasn't very easy to find some of their um, show reels online. And, um, but the, the, some of the show reels that I saw, probably because they're more for corporate were quite boring, I thought, in terms of editing style. Um, and um, maybe this is something that I'll learn, but you know, the, the style probably needs to reflect what the customer wants. But I think in order to be creative, um, I was looking at people who had more of a uh, kind of a, a street photography, street um, documenting, type of style, you know, the sort of people that were using different editing techniques to um, um, uh, to uh, to show their their videos, um, especially if they're from a sort of a, a skateboarding background and also from a um, uh, sort of um, um, uh, sort of uh, hip hop dance video um, sort of background as well. Uh, you know, some, some, some of the guys who do grime uh, and also um, a sort of style that is a, um, you know, sort of fashion, sort of urban fashion, um, to coin a phrase, 
um, style in terms of uh, the editing style. So, so that was good. Um, that was that was much more effective than putting out notices on Facebook, etc. Um, and then um, I also um, sent CV. My brother-in-law is a copywriter. My son is just about to finish his um, degree in advertising, so he was he's working on his CV. And that was it. So a few ums and ahs in there, but uh, you know, uh, it's also good for me to realise what I've done during the day as well. So I'm going to be publishing these on IGTV and also my YouTube channel. So watch out. Thanks.